One of the biggest questions surrounding possible additional delays of the Harbor Bridge project is whether it will impact the Port of Corpus Christi's expansion plans to include the deepening and widening of our ship channel. Our Michael Gibson has that part of the story for us. With a new Harbor Bridge on the way, port officials had forecasted a big increase in business here at the port over the coming years. But with TxDOT's review of the new Harbor Bridge, those plans could be in jeopardy. We are concerned if there are going to be significant additional delays to the Harbor Bridge project as that could have negative implications not only on us but on our customers as well. Port of Corpus Christi CEO Sean Strawbridge spoke with 3 News as TxDOT is reviewing the design work done on the Harbor Bridge. The latest delay in this project which could cost the port and our area hundreds of millions of dollars. That's because the port thought with the new bridge its business would double. Right now, $200 million worth of goods flow through here on a daily basis. Over the next three to five years, that number was going to go up to $400 million, according to the port's estimates. I've talked to senior TxDOT executives over the last 72 hours, and they assure me that while they are reviewing the design, construction will continue in the near term. We will be watching this situation closely, however, to see if there will be any significant further delays. Another concern for the port is its new headquarters being built underneath the old Harbor Bridge. Construction is ongoing, and right now, the longer the Harbor Bridge project is delayed, the longer it's going to take to build the parking lot for this project. That's because the old bridge has to first be removed before the parking lot can be built. Now on the other side of the Harbor Bridge is where Jeff Blackard is working on turning North Beach into a first class development. He has a grand vision of new hotels and restaurants being built here. But he needs the city to build a $40 million canal across North Beach to help solve flooding problems and for the canal to serve as one of the development's attractions. So we asked Blackard if another Harbor Bridge delay is going to affect that proposed canal project or even the entire development. Itself, it may push it back a couple of years as far as the second phase of the canal, but that's fine. So as you've heard, there's a lot of economic growth riding on the outcome of TxDOT's review of the Harbor Bridge's design. Michael Gibson, 3 News.